seven ways P destroys your brain. The first one we have here is that you see people as objects. Because when you're watching it, and you're used to watching it so much, that's all you think about, that's all you see, that's all you're used to. So you're going to try, so you're going to start seeing people as like the videos and all that. And it's going to make you awkward, nervous around around like people you like and all that. You're going to be, you know what I mean, awkward, stiff, body language, freaking this and that. Not too extreme, but you'll feel it. you probably experienced it for yourself let me guys know the second thing that it does is it causes brain fog me personally i experienced this if it just feels like a like a dark cloud just coming over your brain kind of like on the same way a dark cloud comes over and it's getting ready to thunder like really hard rain and thunder and all that that's kind of how it feels to the brain anytime i think of brain fog is i just think of like i don't know why but you know how in charlie brown there's that guy who like He's dirty, he's like the little like dust, like scribbles. That's kind of how I picture brain fog in my head when I'm like multiplied. You just just lack clarity because the fog is in the way. You're not gonna have clarity to think. You're gonna be forgetful because once again your mind is being crammed by the fog. There's not gonna be enough room for you to like retain information and all that. Remember, it decreases your motivation because it hit. It hits your, it kills your dopamine receptors. I get that. I get to that in a later point, but it can decrease your motivation and like your focus to like work on something. And by killing your receptors, that actually increase your levels of depression. The third thing that it does is it changes your perspective on intercourse because once again, when you start consuming that stuff, that's all you're used to seeing. You know what I mean? Um, you're gonna have unreal, yeah. You're gonna have unrealistic expectations about it. You expect your partner to perform certain acts, even though they can't, because it's fake. It's not real. It's freaking lighting, that thing. It's all produced. It's fake. Okay. In my change in your perception, it can actually cause you to have PIED, which is P-induced erectile dysfunction. If you don't know what that is. Is when your thing down there for guys doesn't work anymore because when you start watching pee and all that, you set the bar really high for what you actually want. But in real life, you'll never get that same rush and that same high that you actually want that you set the bar high for. And you won't feel fulfilled and satisfied and, and your thing down there won't work anymore. So you probably have to take pills and all that. To make it work again, this and that, you probably won't be able to have kids if you want to have a family in the future, whatever. So, so think about that when you're watching P. Like, think about the videos you watch and all that. Think about, do you want to go through that? Do you want to have to have to take pills? Do you want your thing down there to like have a high chance of like not working anymore? Really think about that. If you want a family, like, do you really want to risk? Do you really want to risk that? And the thing about it is, the good thing about it is that you can recover from it. The estimated time is around like six to eight months, but it can be different for everybody. Some people get there later, some recover sooner, but the general is probably around six to eight months, up to maybe like a year, maybe, but. You can recover from it, that's the thing. The fourth thing that it does is you see yourself in negative light because you're holding on to all this guilt and shame by watching the videos and all that. And you can be feeding yourself negative like thoughts, beliefs, oh like I'm not worthy enough to have a to have a partner because I'm watching these videos, oh limiting beliefs, oh I can't quit, I don't know how to stop, I'll never be able to quit. You see yourself as this like a bum, this a loser, this feel so dirty and all that. It'll make it harder for you to quit because because you keep restricting yourself more with the beliefs of oh you can't do it, this and that. The fifth thing that it does it, it desensitizes your reward system. In the reward system, 
we have dopamine receptors. If you don't know what that is, is dopamine is what makes the hormone that makes you feel good. And by continually going back to it, you're altering the reward system and you're desensitizing your dopamine. So the only time you'll be able to feel dopamine if it's is if it's at really, really high levels. And that means in your normal day-to-day -day life, you won't feel dopamine anymore. It would, it would kill it. And that, like I said before, it can lead to a high rate of depression and all that anxiety, having stress. So now the only way that the dopamine will fire up in your brain is, is it is through like the videos and all that. The sixth thing that it does is it makes you think that there's nothing wrong with it. Um, it make you view it as a social a social norm. Oh, there's nothing wrong with it. Everyone does it. It's normal. Um, you'll be you'll just be in this coomer mindset that it's all good. But through internet research, you can you can see for yourself that it's not good for you at all. There's countless studies showing it's bad for you. God dang. There's countless studies out there. So. If you don't believe me, if you think there's nothing wrong with it, look for yourself. I just listed five previous things wrong with it before this point, so still don't believe me, look for more out there. The last thing that it does is that it makes you crave it more and more, like any addiction. Once you get into it, you just want it more and more. You go deeper into it, deeper rabbit hole, you go into the different niches. For P, it can be really dark stuff. It can make you want to go to younger, younger stuff, which, and it can make you want to do harmful acts to people and younger people and all that, which is just disgusting, horrible. I hope none of you guys get to that point. I pray. I pray to God. Well. That's going to do it. I hope you're able to learn something from this video. Hopefully, this makes you want to stop watching it for yourself so you don't have to experience these things. You can send this video to other people to help them out if they're, if they're dealing with the addiction as well. Click the link in the description below to join my school community. We, we can have discussions like this, calls this build a like-minded community to help people in this addiction once and for all. I'm out. Peace.